Hey guys, this is Turek, and today I'm going to be doing a reaction to this trailer that just came out of a new Dragon Ball project. Uh, I'm probably the first one since Akira Toriyama has passed. It's been, what has it been now, six months since he passed away. And uh, I know very little about this. I'm, I'm interested to see where they're going to be going with this kind of stuff with him not around anymore to be involved in this stuff. I, I'm sure he was somehow involved in this uh, originally because this stuff you probably takes years in the May game. <clears throat> Animation, maybe lining up the voice actors to come back, that kind of stuff. I don't know though. I'm sure there's lots of work to it. But uh, uh, I want to see if we're good, what, where else they can go with this because we have uh, after uh, you know Dragon Ball ended and he ended it, the manga ended in almost 30 years ago, 29 years ago. <clears throat> um, then we had GT, which was a continuation of the story, but not one that he wrote in any way, as I understand it. It was pretty good, too. There were, especially the, 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 the evil dragons. The evil dragons were um, uh, the one, the arc at the end was one I liked the best. But uh, And then they had Super that came out like about 10 years ago now. And I've watched some of it. I watched. I got to finish the last tournament. I want to watch that one again. <clears throat> the rest of that because that was really cool. Um, and the main thing I didn't care much about that arc was that uh, I didn't care for the, the the whole super. I should say is I liked the two movies that came out. No, it was three really. There was the one where Beerus is introduced. There's one with Freezer comes back, and the one where they redid Broly. I didn't like the Broly movie. I liked it and I didn't like it. I liked the Broly movie, but I don't like the retcon of Broly. I like the original version of Broly from the movie that came out in the 90s. Um, that's a whole other thing with that movie, why I would go on about that. I think I brought it up before. It mostly has to do with the way they showed Goku and Bardock and that kind of stuff, how they changed Bardock and Broly. So Bardock and Broly. So anyways, um, so Super was a continuation of Dragon Ball Z that takes place... That, you know, it took place between where the Boo Saga ended and before they jumped, like, what, 10 years in the future when um, uh, uh, Goku goes off with Oob to train him. They had a good window there to work in stuff. And uh, so Super's, other, I also just didn't care much for the art style of that one, but uh, the story overall was good. <laughs> Introducing the gods and all that stuff, I liked that. But, um... I don't know. I don't even know. So I, yeah, I didn't even get right to the end of that. I watched some of the fight with him and um, that guy, the big beefy guy at the end. But he unlocks the Ultra Instinct. So obviously, though, there's more. There's stuff there like that. Just is filling in a gap where they could make more stories before the end of Dragon Ball Z. I like. So uh, my question is, will they make something post Dragon Ball Z that is uh, canon now? Because GT is not. Or they could do some kind of prequel stuff, kind of like they had that one special with Bardock uh, they made years ago, where he goes back in time and fights a, um, a predator, uh, ancestor of Frieza. You know, so many questions there. So, anyways, I'll stop rambling. <clears throat> also, since this is a toy production, I'm going to be putting my headphones in, <coughs> and I so I won't be playing any audio of this. Also, I gotta remember to link the video. Uh, Alright, I'll link this video for anyone who may not have seen it in my. When I do that, hold on. Uh, I can't find that app. I'll figure it out later. My phone doesn't want to cooperate. Okay. Uh, make sure the audio is set up. Yep. And I need the uh, volume for this. Come on. 40th anniversary. Oh, yeah. It's the 40th anniversary of the. There we go. What the heck? Okay. It's Toriyama's story. Uh-oh. 
Oh god, now what? They all look like chibi versions. What is this? Okay, next month. You always use the Dragon Ball. A, a conspiracy bruise? Is this like a movie? Why is everyone a kid? Demon Row, okay. He's got his power pull back. Why? <coughs> <coughs> Okay, doesn't give us much, but it looks nice. But is it a movie or a TV show then? Let me see here. It's an anime series. Oh boy, why are they doing the chibi the character version again? Like they did with um, it, it gives gives me the Dragon Ball GT vibes, where they were uh, where Goku there, that. <coughs> I didn't care much for it, but at least it made sense. The first, the uh, yeah, Emperor Pilaf found a new, the these other Dragon Balls, which were created by Kami before him and Piccolo separated, and he turned Kyoku into a kid accidentally, and that was part of. Then it, but they had to find the Dragon Balls because it would, you had to have them back or something because it would the Earth would be to blow up. Um, so the MacGuffin thing was to find all of them and bring them back in time. They had, a, they had a timeline, a, a, a countdown there, essentially. And um, but once Goku turned unlocked Super Saiyan four, he was able to break the power somehow and turn into a human, his adult form temporarily. And uh, did they use uh, what's his name, voice actor? I forget. I'll have to watch that again at some point. Uh, some of it. But um, uh, yeah, I just don't know where the story's gonna go. I'm interested in checking it out to see where they're gonna go. Like, so Toriyama did help with this. Like, we, I guess, and it says so. It says as much here. But I'm just like, okay, what else can they, what else can they have go happening? You know what I would like to see? I they talk about a different demon realm. I want to know what other places exist. That there was that police officer guy. His name starts with J. Who came and he, he was in the in the Dragon Ball. I remember from Resurrection F where he comes and warn them about Frieza coming back. I want to know what uh like empires or political entities or other places outside in the universe exist that are were not controlled by Frieza. We were under that when you watch and read or read earlier Dragon Ball with Frieza, you're under this this idea that Frieza controls everything else in other parts of the universe. But it's just the universe be our galaxy being so big. There's just no way he can control all of it. There's likely would be other regions of the galaxy that would be controlled under different entities, a uh, 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 po uh, political uh, edifice. No, what's the way <laughs> now? What I'm looking for? Like there might be some other kind of empire that has other or, or, or a republic, a kind of a. a Trying to look for the right entity, the kind of word to use, where they'd be outside of Frieza's control, and they'd be a counter to Frieza and his, like his family and their control of them conquering and selling other planets. Also, who were the entities that Frieza was selling the planets to? He would have people like uh, Vegeta going and destroying planets, uh, the population of planets, and then they'd sell them to somebody. So, who are those entities? I would love to see. We we need. I want to have kind of a um, House of the Dragon or something. <clears throat> I haven't watched enough of that much of that show, but something where we're seeing the other goings on in the universe of Dragon Ball Z that would be showing what's happening 
back, like put it back. When I had that timeline with Frieza as a young man, when he or around the time he destroyed a uh, planet Vegeta, let's see what's going on in the rest of the universe and how they're they're vying for power or something like that. That'd be a good fan fiction, maybe. And what else was going on in the uh, in the Dragon Ball Z universe besides the stuff that uh, Goku and his friends always interact with? Uh, let's see some of the places Vegeta go went to. Something like that. Some kind of things like that would be uh, what I would have loved to see. Would love to see. Uh, or, or either way, I don't know if Toriyama would have ever been interested in doing that kind of stuff. But that kind of thing would be my favorite thing because we're. When, when we have those kind of um, storytelling through these mangas, they're also very focused on specific this group and this group fighting. Um, like 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 in Bleach, for as an example, we have like we learned about the Soul Society, and then we learned there's uh, the place that Eisen sets up shop with a um, the Hollows live. He sets up that palace there. So we only have that and that, but then we learn there's other realms later. It's like I love to get a little more world building. Uh, at times expanded just little bits in a, in a focused arc. We only found out about the the place where the Soul King lived in uh, Bleach in the last arc. Uh, actually, that's that that's coming out soon, isn't it? I haven't checked out that trailer. Uh, the Thousand Year Blood War arc. <clears throat> we don't. That it, it's. Uh, I would love to just have more of that happen in some of these manga where we learn more about the other. Uh, uh, groups that vie for power, like I said, in different areas, and uh, uh, and not have it only come out when it needs to later on. I'd love to see it more earlier. <clears throat> Anyways, so let's go through this again. We got here, yeah, the fact that they show them as kids looks like they're all turning into kids somehow. They show them, but well, they show them sparring. As adults, then we got an evil looking Kai again, like the one from uh, the arc in Super where he used Goku's body somehow. The art style looks like there's just the Super animators all over again, which the backgrounds are good, but I'm not, for some reason, this, this, the look of the character just doesn't do anything for me. Uh,. And yeah, the Supreme Kai's there. So I don't know. It will be something to check out. I just don't know why they want to make them kids again. I hope there's a valid reason it's not kind of contrived or something. But it is nice to see Goku with his power pole back. Because the only thing, you know what I want to see back? Something else too. I miss the character, the Saiyans having their tails. I know Toriyama removed that, did that too. Because he, he, he wanted to remove... Uh, extra work I guess for him to drawing that but I th always liked how Goku and the others looked when they had their tails he could even just have it where they did what Vegeta and Nava did where they just keep their tail wrapped around their uh, stomach or waistline when they're out of the keep it out of the way when they're in combat but uh yeah I missed that part too but uh yeah I got nothing else to say I'll have to I'll do a little research on this on my own, and uh, and it's coming out in a month or so, so maybe it'll be good. I don't know. Uh, so that's all I got for today. Thanks for watching.